What's going on YouTube? What's happening? We're running 19 back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share the video. Today, you guys want to address something and everything. Uh, and these ain't no comments on my channel. I just want to address something, you know, personally. I tell any and everybody who has something to say or anybody who I ever had a problem with. No, I'm not mad. Like I said, and everything. Uh, just want to address something and everything. Had a pretty good day. Just tired. That's all. So again, like I said, I'm up uploading another video right now and everything. And I uh, hope you guys will enjoy that. But I want to talk to you guys today. Address something, and everything. And it's called uh, your mouth right checks your ass can't cash. You guys, ever since I was a little boy, particularly in school, I've always seemed to have problems out of people. I don't know why. I'm not a troublemaker. I don't go around messing or picking with people. But people seem to think that, you know, I can just pretty much, you know, do me, do Brandon any kind of way. He ain't shit. He ain't nobody. Well, let me give you some uh, heads up. And this is to everyone who's listening to me today. This ain't not directed at anybody in particular. I just want to throw this out there. That way I don't be misunderstood. <coughs> Please understand something. I'm a grown man and everything. I take care of myself and everything. And I try to take care of my parents. They're older and everything. They uh, you know, dealing with some illness. But please understand something when talking to me. I'll respect you. Like I said before, I respect you. I'm a very respectful person. Okay? I don't try to connive at people. I don't try to be phony with people. I try to be nice to people. I try to help people. Like I said, that's how I was raised. However, don't come up to me talking crazy. Don't come up to me being disrespectful. Don't come up to me saying this or saying that and everything because you're going to have a problem. Okay? I didn't have people threaten me. I didn't have people talking about they're going to stab me. I didn't have people threaten to shoot me. I didn't have people that draw, drove by my truck in particular throwing stuff at it. I had people call me the N-word. I had people talking about, oh, uh, we going to jump you. I done heard all the threats. Okay? I done heard all the threats. And I've dealt with all different types of people. Just kind of give you a little insight on the person you're talking, you know, that comes on here each and every day. <clears throat> and talk to you guys. Like I said, I'm a man of respect. But please understand something. I am not going back down from you. Okay? I don't, don't want to hear no how many damn niggas you know. I don't want to hear and everything is 10 of us, there's 20 of us. I can give a rat's ass how many of, of y'all it is. Okay? I've dealt with stuff and everything. You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. And that's fine. If they don't expect you to. But please understand something. You, I, Me personally, I ain't never wrote a check I couldn't cash. I ain't never said I was going to do something and couldn't do it. Simply because I was unable to or I was quote unquote scared to. This ain't a tough guy speech. This ain't no I'm the hardest nigga in town speech. This is me telling you, man, you know, man to audience. You know, some people, like I made a video way back, called some people don't know they got it coming. I'm going to give you some heads up. If you ever in life cross paths with me, one of the first things you're going to notice and everything, I'm polite. Like I said, I'm polite. How you doing, sir? How you doing, ma'am? I was raised, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. That's how I was raised. But you will also notice if you try to come off being disrespectful or doing dumb shit to, <coughs> to piss me off. I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the patience for it. I'm going to tell you ass once and everything. You ignore at your own peril. You ignore at your own risk. I don't threat. I don't make threats. I don't threaten people. I give you warnings. I want you to get home to mama. I want you to get home to daddy. I want you to get home to hubby wife. I want you to get home to whoever, to your kids, whoever. But please, don't threaten me. 
please don't 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 tell me because like I say it's 10 20 y'all I better watch my back don't tell me and everything yeah I got guns too please please don't do that because I may slip and make mistaken you for enemy and everything and just you know some bad may happen and I love when I hear people who think they can just talk to me any kind of way you know, like I said, like I'm not shit and everything. It's pretty much how some people do try to treat me. But of course, I shut them down. You got family and everything. Uh, a little while ago and everything, I had to give my cousin straight. I'm not going to give the name. I'm not going to say if it's a boy or a girl. Or man or woman, excuse me. But my cousin thought that, you know, it was okay to push me. And of course, it was a silly argument and everything. Some at the time we were kids. <coughs> I think it was over a video game. So he decides, well, we'll see, I just gave it away. <laughs> I might as well. He decides and everything that it was okay to push me. And I decides it was okay for me, you know, to hurt him. And you see, guys, I'm, one of, I'm a type of person. Once the engine gets going and everything, and I, and I pop it into gear, it's gonna be hard to slow down. Oh, I can do. I do this. No, 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 no. It's gonna be hard to slow down. Okay, because what's going to happen when you keep, you know, yelling or being disrespectful to me, or making an ass non comments to me, or you know, you're this, you're that, and everything, what's triggering my brain? Why don't you hurt this asshole? Oh, it's not worth it. Okay. Fair enough. But how long do you think you think I gotta take that? You think I have to back into a corner or hope and pray you stop being mean and saying stuff to me? No, no, no. When you come at me the wrong way, the first thing comes to my mind is to take your ass out of here. Plain and simple, male or female, family or enemy. I am not your child. You ain't gonna be cussing at me. Well, I don't like you. You're ugly. You this, that, and the other. Oh, really? Well, let me show you something pretty. It's called a barrel of a firearm. Shotgun, particularly. Depending on how bad you piss me off. Or if we say, well, I have a gun too. Well, let me ask you this then. Let's get creative here. Let's see. Anybody pay attention to science? You know when you mix water with electricity, it's a deadly and dangerous mix and everything. And what ends up happening, your ass get electrocuted. See, Eventually, this going to get played out. And see, I come up with creative ways. This is why, like I said, joining the military with everything, I'll, I'll be right at home. Because I know so many countless ways to be, you know, quote unquote, evil, evil, and everything, but I choose not to be. <clears throat> not that I can't. I just choose not to be. Because I know dumb, dumb asses and everything don't know who they're talking to. You get some people, they get to raise their voice at me. I'm telling you from past experience. They get to raise their voice at me, cussing at me. I'll kick you. Like I said, I heard all the threats. I'll kick your ass. I'll do this to you and everything. You ain't shit. You ain't this and everything. Man, do you understand I could be putting a 308 bullet right through your damn head right then and there? See, I don't argue with people. I don't get no shout match. And, when, and here's the thing about that. Why get all mad and all been out of shape? Raise your damn blood pressure and then nobody nobody, nobody get no ass whooped. So what I do, I'm going to give you a warning. You say hell with you, fuck you, whatever the case may be. Okay. When you find yourself laying on the ground unconscious or, uh, or not breathing, then you, you get the message. I don't have the patience. You don't like me, don't fuck with me. That goes for any and everybody. Now, I ain't asking your ass for nothing. I ain't begging you for nothing or anything of the nature. I'm going to say again, if you don't like me, and that goes for anybody who it applies to, you don't agree with something I say and everything, don't fuck with me. I'm not going to boo-hoo-hoo or nothing like that and everything. I just move on to, you know, move on, set, move on to the next thing. But all the disrespect and everything that I've seen and that I've heard and everything, people trying to come at me, especially these assholes out in the road, Lord have mercy and everything. <coughs> I'm not going to deal with it. I try to be a good man. 
I try to, cause I know how I was raised. And I try to respect people, but please don't let me, don't, don't, don't let me turn and everything. How can I say my, uh, my evilness on? I'm not evil. Try not to be, but some people, like I said before, some people be asking for an ass whooping. Some people be asking for you to put a bullet straight through their damn head. Some people be asking for that and everything by the way they talk to you. I'm like this. If you want me to respect you, then respect me. If you want me to talk to you like I got good sense, then talk to me like you got good sense. Again, I'm not mad or angry or, you know, furious like I have been in my, a couple other videos and everything. I had, like I said, I had a good day, just tired. But I just want to, you know, put this out there and everything. So, like I said, I, I, I hear a lot and I see a lot. Even some, some people have put comments on my channel and everything. Calling me this, you know, like I said, you don't know nothing about guns and you this, you that and everything and all that. You know, you have a, uh, you, you, I've had somebody call me ugly on there and everything. I'm like this. If you ain't man and woman enough to say it to my face, then apparently your opinion don't matter. And even if I'm all of this you say I am and everything, why don't you bring it down to the flow? And what I mean by that is and everything, well, you know, if you have that strong of a dislikement towards me, whoever you are and everything, hey. Hit me up on there. Like I said, this ain't no tough guy. This ain't I'm the hardest nigga in the world speech or nothing like that. But I do want to put this out there so you guys know. I try to be real with everybody. Ain't never been phony at all. This ain't no street shit either. It's me being honest with you, being a grown man, talking to you. And nobody worried about nobody acting food out here. I don't, I'll go in quote unquote the hood and everything. And everything. I don't get nervous. But I be around some uh, policemen and everything. I don't get nervous. But I be around some niggas I don't know. I don't get nervous. But I be around some family who I know don't like me. I don't get nervous. You know why I don't get nervous? Because I know what I'm capable of doing. You know why? I don't, why? I, you know why I would make it? In, <coughs> excuse me. You know I make it in the army because I know what I can do. Don't nobody know you like you know yourself. So. You really think I'd be worried about anyone threatening me? No, disregard the guns now. This ain't about nobody carrying guns. It's about what's in here. And what's in here. Remember, I said in my video before, it's not the <coughs> it's not the exterior man that you need to be worried about. It's not the exterior man, everything that's dangerous. It's who is the man on the inside that defines who you really are. Now, you may say, so what you may say, like, okay, you dropping hints and everything, like, like you want some action. No, I don't want some action. I'm ready for some action, but I don't want no action. I prefer everybody to be in peace. I prefer everybody to be nice and, you know, get along, blah, blah, blah. But you got some people and everything who, like I said, they throw stuff at my truck. I had a uh, guy trying to <laughs> cuss me out. And do uh, try to uh, get smart with you at the mouth and everything. I even had a policeman that tried to uh, get get smart with me at the mouth. No, he excuse me, he did get smart with me at the mouth, and I had to correct him. Please understand something and everything. You a man just like I am. You are a human being just like him. You bleed red blood just like I do. And if that bullet get placed just right and everything, you would die just like I would. So please. Proceed with caution, please. I ain't your child. You don't know me as well as you think. Don't give a damn what anybody didn't told you or what you may have researched or whatever the case may be. I respect you. Like I said, I can be your best friend. And I'm one of them type of dudes and everything. I will fight for you to the end. And that's both literally and configurally. Everything, we, you know, we knitting in tight like that. But I can be your most deadliest enemy. I ain't got no need hollering and screaming to take you off this earth. I don't need uh, crazy deranged thinking, pill taking, all that old crazy shit people be doing. I don't need all that. And for those everything who are in the military, guess, guess what my MOS is? The MOS that I'm going for military, guess what it is? Infantry. I already talking to my sergeant and everything. Infantry. It's one of the more dangerous MOSs. 
Not to mention all the other stuff I know how to do. So you may say, well, who cares? You ain't got to care. I hope you don't. I just hope the guy with me and you never cross paths one day and you decide you want to be an asshole. But you're going to find out if I'm bullshitting you or not. Like I said, I try not to be mean. I try not to be evil. But you guys got to understand. I'm a type of man. I don't take shit from nobody. I don't give a damn male or female. If I ain't all up in your face being disrespectful to you, you're not going to do it to me. If I ain't hollering, cussing at you, calling you out your name, you're not going to do it to me. Or you're going to be finding yourself either in heaven or hell, depending on what you believe in. There is a reason in everything. Why, I'm, Especially when I'm out here on the road, there's a reason why I don't get on here and tell you guys and everything. I, yeah, I have trouble out of people, but no one never took it, you know, to the next level. I know I got mad in that one video. That's what that dude did and everything. But he hurried up and drove away. And I had to get, I got off the freeway off. I got off the uh, freeway to calm down. Because like I said, when you piss me off and everything, God help you. Especially when I know I didn't do nothing to you. I don't try to provoke people. I don't give a damn what anybody say. I don't try to provoke people. Anybody who know me personally, I say it again, I try to stay to myself. You know, focusing on my goals, focus on my dreams. But don't be bringing no bullshit this way. And to my cousins and everything, you may have something to say. To my cousins in the past, you have stuff to say and everything. Please understand something. You get to talking crazy to me. You get to acting a fool with me. You get to being smart. You saying crazy shit to me and everything. I'm going to treat you just like a nigga in the street. Plain and simple. I am not your child. My own mother, my own dad don't even talk to me that way. Who the hell are you? So I suggest you act right. Act like you got some sense. <coughs> act like you know... Uh, and everything that you know what you're doing. Act like you know, focus on your dreams. So, but don't be don't come being smart with me. Don't be come trying to check me and everything that I'm telling you. When I, like I said, I'm just giving you a heads up warning. Like I said, I don't make threats. Please understand, I don't make threats. You people all the time, I'll beat you and oh, I'll shoot you. You do that every day. That's a threat. What I'm going to do if you keep, keep fucking with some damn body, I'm going to carry it out. I'm going to figure out what the hell your damn problem is. Matter of fact, I'm going to learn your ass not to do that. There have been several people on the highway trying to run me off the road. I had to learn them. I ain't going to tell you what I did, but I had to learn them. I ain't going to be hollering going back and forth with you. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone, woman. Look, you, you ain't nobody. Okay. okay. When you find yourself in a life or death situation, I don't want to hear, oh, he's evil. Oh, did you hear what he did? Did you hear what he said? Bullshit. You provoke me, but then get mad at me for responding. You say something to me very disrespectful, but then when I see you have your ass on the ground begging for your life, now all of a sudden, I'm wrong? You throw some at me, you hit me with it and everything, and then laugh, think the shit's funny. And then I throw your ass through a glass window and then try to chop your damn head off. I'm wrong? That's too intense. You shouldn't be that way. Go to hell. <laughs> there are those who know. Excuse me. Those who know don't talk. Those who talk don't know. I respect you. I'm not on here trying to act like I'm Mr. Crazy Deranged in the head. That is not my message. My message is plain, plain and uh, simple. I ain't never wrote a check if my ass couldn't cash. I don't bluff people. I don't provoke people. I don't mess with people. But I don't take shit off people either. No exceptions. Treat me the way you want to be treated. But don't come at me hollering, cuss. If you ever cross paths with me any time, any day, and everything, please understand and everything. I'm ready. <laughs> you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Now, I understand that everything, oh, you ain't the only one in this world that got guns. Really, no shit. You mean to tell me they had guns even before I was born? Really? I didn't know that. I had no idea. <laughs> Why do you think I carry them? Because like I said, don't nobody fight no more. I know, I know how to fight. I know how to disarm. I know how to violently hit you in a certain way. I know how to do that. But like I said, I choose not to. I choose not to. I choose not to hide in the bush and everything. And you sit there and you didn't ran into me, you didn't hit me or do a rock and bash my window out and everything, you thought you got away, oh, I'm going to find your ass. Remember, please understand, I'm a drunk driver. Finding locations is what we do. 
finding where place is at is what we do. And one thing I love about truck drivers, there's, uh, being a truck driver, there are places in this uh, country and everything. I know where to go to either hide out or, uh, or plank your ass at if I have to. But like I said, I'm not evil. <laughs> I'm not evil. But I'm not, I ain't got the patience for it. You mind your business, I mind mine. You respect me, I respect you. But please. If you're looking for trouble, take your ass somewhere else. Because I'm going to give you the solution. And you're not going to like it. I'm not going to let up till your ass died. You talking about trying to do something to me and everything. You may say, well, who said this? And everything. There's been numerous people who said stuff. There's been numerous of people who said stuff to me. Both present and in the past. But I want to make sure if they watch my channel and everything, I want to make sure they have no heads up. And if anybody trying to use this in a negative way and everything, I'm going to say again, I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't. Anybody who know me, I like to clown around and have fun and everything, grab a bite to eat, <coughs> watch the game. You know, the Lakers, I'm a huge Lakers fan, particularly LeBron fan. I like to watch my basketball and sit and go to work and sit and chill. That sounds like a normal man to me. But please understand something and everything. I'm not going to take no shit off you. And that goes for you too as well, policemen. Police officers. I respect you. Especially if you're true to that badge, you got my respect. And all cops ain't racist. All cops not bad. But I'm talking about the ones that are. Everybody ain't going to take that shit. <laughs> you ain't grabbing me, throwing me on the ground. You ain't going to be putting your knee on my neck. You ain't going to be doing any of that. Yeah, I said it, white people. You ain't going to be putting your knee on my neck. You ain't going to be doing that to me. Because if I got, like I said before, if I got to go, so are you. I don't have the patience for it. I ain't none of these little goofy niggas out here running around with a gun on them and everything. I know what to do. If a case shit get wild, I know what to do. So, just want to throw that at you guys. I guess I say again, this is not a tough guy speech. This is not I'm the hardest nigga in town speech. But I want to make sure you know, if you ever cross paths with me and everything, if you ever find yourself face to face with me, and everything. I want you to know. Um, he's a good, I'm a good man. Respectful man. Honest man. Good friend. According to my mom and dad, I'm a good son. <laughs> and I try to be a good brother and everything to my siblings. And a good uncle to my big headed niece. But please understand. Brain, you trying to harm me or you trying to harm my family and everything. There is no stopping. I'm going to do everything in my power to remove you off this earth. And if for you family members and everything who, uh, who want to be disrespectful, that goes for you as well. When you get to talking crazy to me, you're not, you're not family. When you get to threatening me and everything, you're not family. You become nothing different than a nigga in the street. So I just want to make sure you know that. So don't be caught off guard like, why are you acting like this way? Why are you acting this way? You know what? And remember something else, everybody who listen to me. I don't never do anything without a legit reason, without probable cause. I don't, I'm gonna say that again. I do not do anything without probable cause. I mean, it's a legit reason. If you ever catch me doing something, something in behind it, there was a reason why I done it. But like I said, I don't bother people. I try to stay away from people. So somebody, I know somebody gonna do something to piss me off and everything. That's why I try to avoid people. But don't be making threats to me. Don't be telling me how hard y'all be telling me it's 10, 20, y'all. That shit don't mean nothing but noise in my ears. That's all it means. So, you've been warned. I respect you. I do right by you. But I'm not taking no shit from you. I ain't your child. I ain't your boy. I ain't none of that. You want to you wanna go about your business? You want to make it home to mom and dad? Go on about your business. You ain't gotta like me now. I ain't say you gotta like me. But you gonna respect me. Or mom and dad are gonna be getting a tragic phone call. Husband is gonna get a tragic phone call. Wife gonna get a tragic phone call. And I don't wanna hear, well, why did you do that? You brought it on yourself. Because you, you're barking up the wrong tree. You playing with fire and your ass got burned. Everybody out here, I keep telling people nowadays, Everybody ain't gonna take that shit off you talking crazy to them. 
fuck you, I'll kick your ass, I'll do all this to you. What? We say that to some people out here that have been killed you without even thinking twice about it. Without even thinking twice about it. So I suggest approach and proceed with caution. This is brother 19. Again, I ain't no thug. I ain't no criminal. I ain't no gangster. I ain't none of that crap. But I'm a man of respect. But I'm a man who ain't gonna take no shit off you. Don't bring bullshit this way. I'm gonna give you a verbal warning. I don't fire warning shots. I don't do any of that. If God forbid, God forbid, if you ever catch me shoot somebody, I am shooting to kill them. That's my intention. That's why I knew I do. I, that's, that's how I know I do very well in the army. That's how I know I would. Oh, you're a killer. You're evil. No, I'm not. I just said I don't take shit off nobody. That make me evil? Yeah, I lost, you know, some people and everything that I used to work with and everything. Who cares? People come, people go. Remember, everything dying is temporary, people. Please get that through your head. When God and Jesus come, <coughs> when Jesus come back and everything, I just want to make sure my life is right with him so I can get on up to heaven. Because all this bullshit down here is going to do him if it's passed over and be destroyed. That's why I don't, I don't get upset when family don't call. That's why I don't get upset when people walk away anymore. That's why I don't get upset if a relationship don't work and everything goes south for whatever reason. Because I know. It's temporary. <laughs> it's temporary. Everybody have their lives to live. You know, they get to you when they get to you. Okay. But if something happened to me and I were to die, but then you're going to want to cry. Oh, I really love him. Bullshit. <laughs> this is Beretta 19, you guys. Be blessed. And I'm speaking it from re being real. I'm being honest. I ain't being phony. I'm speaking it for the real. But I, like I said, I'm a man of respect. I'm not evil. I'm not demonic. But it. I ain't gonna take your shit. Brother 19, catch you on the next video. Take care.